good afternoon good afternoon rali yeah could you please share your screen okay yes, uh, open open the activity guide and go through the topics given and walk me through over okay. to you so there yeah thanks rali okay is it my screen is visible rali ah uh, yes i am able to see yes. your screen yeah. coming to the coming to the topic is the manage managing journals coming to the journals and now i will show the creation part of the journals and come to the wavri in this practice you will you will you will create the journals groups and then open the period okay coming to the task log in the epm cloud if necessary and click on the consolidation journals code on the home page and after selecting the uh, journals cluster uh, after that click action and then select the group in the create and gr uh, journal groups under the action under the action option you can see the groups option will be there after that click the create after that and give the name as a blue sheet and the describe as a blue sheet journals then click okay and after that similarly create a, a, another group with the name yellow sheet and describe as a yellow sheet yellow sheet journals then click close okay up to here i will show you in the navigation for that you have to select the application you have to log in with the credential which was given by the client after that you have to select the journals it will shown in the home page click on journals yeah after that you have to select the under action option under that you can see the group option is there was there you have to select the groups and selecting the groups you can create from here the groups while if you want to create a group you have to select the create as per the document you have to you have to give the name as a blue sheet mm, it's your wish text okay and you have to create one more group as per the documentation for that you have to select again create and give as hello sheet hello sheet Click on okay. Text okay. Save. As per the documentation, I created two dot two groups. One is the blue sheet one. Another one is the yellow sheet. And come back to the documentation. Um. After that, click a uh, click on the home icon. After that, click the manage period and code under the application cluster. And after coming back to the application, you have to select the manage period. and after that uh, verify that the scenario as actual and the year as a 2020 and coming to my application i was started with 2021 so i have to select 2021 not 20 and then click on click on go icon then and then click the action icon and end of the feb feb row okay okay and then select open now the status of february will now change to open okay i will show you in the directly in the navigation part coming back to the application Select the home icon. And select the navigator. And under application, you can see the manage period. Click on manage period. Yeah, predefined. I was previously we opened this total uh, dot. I see the changes. I see the status. It has been changed to the open. If you want to unchange the status, you have to select the action option. Here you can see open and close. when we create the particular application okay for example i will show you and then i will change the year and i will show you for example i has taken 22 and click on okay okay for that also i for that also i have opened right okay okay see if you say if predefinedly when we create an application it will be it, the status will be shown as a unopened if you open it will shown as a open then you can't change the status as a unopened just you can change status as open or closed that's the process coming to the manage period can okay cool. see that's the process i'm coming back to the documentation create a journals create a journals from a templates in this practice you will learn you you will create a journal template that you will you later use in the journals okay coming to the task first you have to log in with the credential after that you have to select the home page and under that you can see the journals option will be there click on the template tab and click and click create to add a new template 
and based on this uh, table i have to fill the template okay i will show you in the navigation directly okay come back to the home page and click on journals and after that you have to se uh, select the um, journal template under that you can see the create option will be there you have to select the create okay this is the form of template journals uh, based upon the uh, this the this tabular form i will create the template label is a journal and description i'll give test and journal type is regular regular and the data source is journal input and the template type is standard journal input and standard and you can give the previous have been created groups that you can assign some group also for if you want for example, I selected blue seat. Okay. And after that, after the next phase, okay. After that, yeah, to create a journal entry, click create, and then click the gear icon to pick uh, pick member of the dimension, and you have to pick these members in the the particular template. Uh, what was there in this form? I will show you in the navigation for that. You have to select the create option. See, one column has been added. For that, you have to so you have to assign particular mem dimension members. For that, you have to select an action. And that you can under that you can see the pick member delete row copy row will be there. You have to select the pick members. Based on this form, I will create it. Coming to the entity, you say have to select the en01, 05. Select the total geography segment. You have to select the EN01 underscore 05. Click on OK. And after that, account is 7000. Account is 7000. Switch for 7000 yeah the number has been added click on ok coming to the intercompany intercompany is no intercompany select the intercompany dimension under that you have to select the no intercompany no intercompany and the third one is movement is no movement and multi gap is local gap okay no movement and select the multi multi gap under the multi gap you have to select the local gap local gap and come to the product product is no product then click on ok see now the particular value has been added for the particular row see that the members has been added and after that after adding the members uh, select the members ok completed and in this new row, change the account dimension member to the 2012 and click save, save and then click close. Okay. Okay. Come back to the navigation. Here you can add one more row for that. Click on create. Here you have to change the account member. Click on pick member. And let's the account seven thousand twelve switch. The particular member was not there in this application, so you can pick one another member which you want to pick. In the entity example oh, for account he said right. Okay, select account seven thousand one twelve okay i take in this one click on okay okay the member has been added click on save after that okay completed and coming to the next one 
create a journal from the template in this practice you will learn to create your journal based on the journal template created earlier okay you have to log in with the credential after that click the manage tab manage journals to ma manage journal tabs and make sure that the the following POV selections okay scenario should actual scenario should be actual and year should be 2020 and i will take as 21 and coming to the period should be in john okay i will show you in the navigation directory come back and select the journal man manage here you have to select the create from the template Okay, oh, sorry. You have to change the scenario part here. Yeah, scenario should be actual. The year should be 2021 and coming the period should be in Jan. Okay. After that, uh, click the create from the template and then select the template as journal for the expensive and click apply. And after that, select the following information. Group should be a uh, group you have to assign as a yellow seat. And after that, uh, after that, uh, click save and then close. Okay. Click on create from template. And previously I created this uh, this template. I have to add this for this uh, manage manage journals. Click on apply. Yeah. Here you have to change the group for uh, yellow sheet and then click on save and close see the, the template the journal has been added to the main main journals after that come to the next page here okay Actually, main thing one is that we have to post particularly when we post the particular journals also, then we can report the journals. For that, I will I will open the journals once again and you, I will give the credit and debit value here. For example, I'll give 200. And coming to the credit also, I'll give 200. When the credit and debit value will be equal, then only the journals will be posted. For that, I given as a debit 200 and credit as 200 and click on action and select post. The, uh, the 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 journal should be in saved first okay i didn't save first so i have to save it again okay after that you have to select action and post click on post it takes some time yeah see the status has been changed as a posted okay completed after that coming to the uh, coming to the documentation reports reports means we have to log in with the credential and click on the reports on the home page and after that click the journal report tab and then click create okay after that select the pov select the yellow sheet under the group and click on run report then the file has been added to the local mission okay for that come back from the application and select the reports you can see the report card will be shown up on the tab and under that you have to select the journal reports and click on create here you have to assign the particular scenario part and uh, previously I created one group right? for that I can give directly assign why because I have I added only one journal for the particular group so I will give group as a yellow, uh, yellow sheet you can okay after that you have to select in which format do you want the particular file i want in pdf so i selected pdf and run report click on run report yeah the file has been downloaded click on open see this is the file which you can see in the document function also here see Based upon this, it has been created. It's a process of creation of journals. And coming to the next topic. Next topic is that running consolidation. And in this, 
assumption you have created the currency in the previous four four and four and thirty days okay previously i have been created the current current currency part in the application and after that log in to log in with the erp cloud necessary necessary on the home page click on the data card and then select the enter exchange rate single period form okay after that make sure that the following pov is selected in the and the forms okay you have to select the particular uh, particular the dimension as a period as john and the uh, year is to uh, fy20 i will take 21 for that and coming to scenario sh scenario should be in actual okay i will show you in the right line the navigation option click on the application and coming back to the application gonna click on the navigator and select that data click on select the data and under data you can see the exchange the exchange rate single period will be there you have to search that one yeah the page has been opened and see based on the point it was created like this the usd and the ers or uaud bri it was shown like this after that come to the next page okay now enter the following information in the forms and based on usd uh, ending exchange rate should be 1 and the aud should be 1.30 and based upon this uh, this form i have been created the uh, this uh, exchange rates see the usd should be 1 and the aud aud should be in 1.3 like this same like as it is what was there in the particular form i have been created same like that only and after the same like what was we, what we given for the ending exchange rate for same value should give for the average exchange rate also and see here uh, and the average and average exchange rate is 1 and the ending exchange rate is 1 similarly I have been created for particular every every member in the this form see I want to you are you uh, you are zero zero point eight four and for exchange rate also I can as like this only for the particularly yeah that the papa that's the process of adding members to the particular exchange rates and coming back to the documentation after that and the enter the same data for the average rate okay after that enter exchange rate single period. yeah that's a process what we have been added for the particular members in this form um, c here you can say 1.1 here you can say 1.3 it is a huge data so it will show like that rather than it will show like this we combine the particular data for that particularly he picked the only these members only it will show like this only it was a huge data i didn't do a descendant so it will show like that particular member has been shown like this like you guys is a 1.3 and ending that exchange rate 1.3 and come to audc same that's the process of adding the currency rate for the exchange rates in single period and after then click on save and close okay after that click on save and close come back from home page that's the process of the exchange rates and coming back to the documentation here and entering the ownership percentage and recomputing the ownership in this process we will learn to add the ownership data and you assume the creation of a currency in the for, for practice of 4 4 dash 1 okay and click on the overview and overview card and application cluster on the home page then go to the dimension tab okay was refreshing okay click on the navigator and click on navigator then start the overview right okay click on over you select the dimension and after that click on entity okay after that uh, expand the ca entity and uh, you can see the le01 le02 le03 under the ce option extend it extend the total geography and under ce annually we created this one the le01 le02 le03 these three these three sides 
and come to the next phase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, scroll the right and uh, uh, scroll the right and then set the LE01, LE02, and LE03 intercompany entities to ICP entity. Yes, click save, then click cancel to close the page. Okay. Uh, okay. After that, for this particular number, ICP should be in S option. For that, you have to scroll the bar to end, end position. Here, you can see the entry company entity is shown here. For the particular member, you have to select as S. Yes. Here also, S. Click on ICP entity, S. Selected. Yeah. After the selection process, click on save. Okay. Click on save. It takes some time. Okay, completed the process. After that, and click overview tab and enter. Uh, click on overview, overview tab and then click refresh database under the action. And then now click create. After that, click the refresh database. After that, click refresh and finish. Okay, after the closing all the open open windows, click the consolidation tab. Okay, up to here I will show you in the directly in the navigation. Coming back to the application. It's loading. Click on cancel. For refresh database also it will take some more time for refreshing the data, total data it will take some time also for that you have to wait for that because total total database will be reloaded so for that will take some more time for that particularly and click on go close mm -hmm. i think server is down so it was taking some more time to reloading the application we have to wait for that and yeah, now the page has been opened. Click on the wait. Okay, we have to refresh it. Okay, click on the application and click on the applica application. And then there you can see the overview cluster will be there. You have to select the overview cluster. And after that, you have to select the action option tab. Under that, you can see the refresh database will be there. Refresh database. Click on refresh database and then select, select the create option after that you have to refresh the database you have to select the refresh database click on refresh it will take some more time for the actual assignment it will take some more time for refreshing the database you have to wait for some time
last two, two steps are there to complete the request strategy. Now it is in 34. We have to wait. Yeah, the refresh data has, has been completed. Click on finish. Okay, close. Close and come back to the home page. Yes, after that, coming back to the documentation here after the closing the after closing the after closing all the opening windows and click the consolidation tab. Okay, after that. After that, make sure make sure that the POV is set to entity total geography and scenario should be in actual and year should be in 2020 and coming to period should be and John. Okay, based on the previous I created this uh, particular LG and 01 LG 02 previous I've been shown you right for the particular member we have to give the ownership as 100% and 80% and 60% and uh, consolidation method should be in holding and this both should be in subsidi subsidiary. Okay. For that you have to select the application and click on the navigator select the consolidation after that coming down to the come have to come down why because i created the member in the only so come down okay Based on that, you have to create right. See, LE01 should be the holding company. Yeah, completed. Come LE02 should be in the subsidiary, subsidiary, and LE30. This one also should be in subsidiary, but here the ownership we have to change as 60. Okay, after that, save and change. Okay. See, I changed the numbers as a L 0360 the ownership is 60 and coming to the L 02 is in hand is in uh, here also we have to change as a 
80. Okay. Here also you have to change as 80. The subsidy member should be in 80 and click on say and change. Okay. The changes that has been have done. Uh, the LE03 is a 60% and uh, the LE02 is an 80% and the LE01 is 100%. The consolidation method is in holding, 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 and uh, the both EN02 and 3 is in subsidiary. Okay. Completed. After that, click and save and change. Okay. I done. And after that, click action, action, and then click re recomputing ownership. Okay. After that, click recomputing. We have to take the scenario actual as year as 21 and starting period as John. Okay. For that, you have to select the application. And under the action, you can see the recomputing option will be there. Here, you have to select the recomputing ownership data and see actual and year is 21 and starting period is done and we have to select the recomputing recomputing means if we make any changes in the in the member properties members we have to reach you have to do the recomputing then only the members will be will be stable it will be what, what place it will be it will be that certain place for that we have to do the recomputing it will it is used for the calculation purpose only after that coming back to the navigation or oh, sorry the documentation after that click the consolidation process tab and under that you have to select the consolidation block and after that coming to the next slide yeah here click the configuration uh, here click the configurable consolidation and then after that you have to select the particular mem select all the rule uh, rule sets and checkbox present and then click deploy note it you might have to click on icon if deploy but it's not visible okay and after deploying after deploy after deploying the rules icon it will turn onto the green color then click on close okay directly i will show in the navigation for that and after that you have to select this consolidation process tab after that call, select the consolidated under that you have to select the Con configurable consolidation after selection selecting the con configurable consolidation under that these these rules have to be we have to enable each and every rule and after that you have to deploy the member before deploying it will be in a blue color after deploying it will convert into the it changes the color as a green color i deployed the process now we have to wait for it was refreshing yeah completed see now the rules has been changed the color as a green color yeah that's the process mm -hmm. and after that coming to the next slide pending consolidation okay in this practice we will learn how to enable exchange the consolidation rules and see the differences mm -hmm. after the running the rules and log into the erp credential okay and then click on the data card and after that extend the consolidation from the data form and then open the data entry icon okay click on come select the close option select the home page okay data right okay click on the click on the data cluster under the under the data form you have to select the data data entry click on that okay see after that okay click the data source dimension on the form and select the data input member and then click on okay now select the go arrow after that to enter the following data in the form okay as per this requirement you have to fill the particular form okay here see the year has been changed as 21 and the period is one john and the scenario is actual and the dot see the total data sources has, has taken as a total input and adjustment as per the requirement has given as an uh, le01 this is the uh, this is the common stack this is the 7000 and this is the 4000 value 
for the particular value this is 7000 this is 4000 for the particular value as per the documentation i given as a 3000 for el el01 and el for the 4000 i given as a 3000 see as per the requirement 3000 3000 after 2000 after 1000 yeah uh, after that see I given has same what was there in the documentation as per the requirement i given 3000 2000 1000 and after that coming to the next page mm. and click on save okay now change the period of the form john to fib then click on go icon after that same what we given the particular form for january as this only but you have to assign the values for the 7000 and 4000 as a 1500 and the entity should be 1000 and the legal entity should be 500 and then after that you can save okay and here you have to change as a feb feb okay can go see as per the documentation here the 7000 should be 1500 15000 and uh, the legal entity to under the 7000 it should be 1000 and here 5000 based on i created this one see 15000 and 10000 and 5000 but here the car for common stock i didn't give any certain value for that and after that coming back to the documentation here and then you now click action action drop down and set the business rule and under that you have to select the consolidation rule and under that we have to launch page create and select the following members like uh, coming to the entity general total total geography and scenario should be actual and year should be 2020 i will take as a 21 for that and period should be john okay for that i have to select the application and under that you have to select the action select the business rule and you have to select the consolidation and based on that you have to select select the particular member to, uh, here the entity is, is i has taken as a total geography actually scenario year is 21 and period is john click on launch it will take some time for launching the process you have to wait yeah the rule has been successfully the consolidation has been completed for the particular jam month and after coming back to the documentation and coming to the next slide and if we if we didn't get any if while i'm consolidating the, I, I got as a success if we get any error you have to go back to the consolidation tab and you have to recompute the particular data and only it will it will consolidate again so there is no need to come back to the you know, consolidation we, uh, and recomputing why because uh, the consolidation process has been completed successfully so you have can leave this place and after that the report repeat the step for the 12 to 12 to 15 for the period of feb okay for a period of jana have I done the consolidation right for that now i have to do for the feb and you can go to the jobs and search to view the status of icon and now now open the consolidation data form and data form in the data code okay okay we will show in the directly in the navigation and similarly what i did for what i did for the john now i have to do for the fib john okay and click on action okay. click on action and set the business rule and set consolidation and here I have to take as a sub. Click on OK and launch.
yeah successfully i consolidated the particular member for february also and after that uh, okay after that enter the following details of POV on the form and coming to join as it won't uh, join and data source should be in total total data source and then click on go icon then you will see the consolidation data okay for that you have to select the data based on the data form you can see the particular form will be there consolidation data form click on that uh, that's the form and coming to the back to the doc our uh, documentation come to the next slide okay to verify the data has been actually calculated will be uh, will be seen the data as account retaining uh, retaining earnings and you will save the data for the retaining earning as a 2000 22000 then the value will be come as per the following calculation as 80 percent and 60 percent common stock and as ali 01 is holding company and the other than the retaining earnings will be in 16000 plus 6000 2020 this calculation will part will be shown in the particular application only and based on this form it will be shown in the application similarly for fib and john this format will be shown in the application directly in the navigation but click on the application and here see but i have taken as a john and the year as 21 and actually uh, scenario is a has actual based on that the value will be added in the particular uh, data uh, consolidation is nothing but uh, the child members will be aggregated to the particular parent only and see The returning the returning earning currency has a 43,045 and based on the documentation here the value is as shown as a EL01 uh, for 22,000 22, only and after that this total value will be added to the particular the down parent member see here the total equity is as a 73,045 and the liability equity for the year level 0 uh, EL LE01 is a 73,000 and the total, I mean, the main parent is that the total balance and the total traditional approach for that. Yeah, this is a equity means as liability, liability means liability means um, minus, and the equity means plus. Based on this value, we have shown as the to it total the value will be added to the particular parent. The total output as three thousand for LE zero one, and coming to LE zero three is twenty thousand, and coming to LE zero three is ten thousand okay coming back to the documentation and we have similarly we have to do for the feb also so for that we have to change the period as a february select the february and click on okay then go see the data has been has been changes see the, the retiring earning has a 65,000 and for 67,545 rupees and the ownership equity coming to the ownership equity is shown as like this value and this total value will be added to the particular parent member this is total equity total liability and based on that the value has shown as an the ownership honor ownership or the ownership percent will be added to the particular member then only the result has shown as like this for the total parent member that's the process of adding the particular member to the to the particular uh, consolidation and after that come into the next slide okay man the managing the journals and migration and are trial okay first first of all create the schedule as create a schedule a day import data import job okay then select the overview form and select the cluster and under the cluster you have to select the overview and under the overview, you can you have to select the inter, inter, inbox and outbox. Click on upload. Then you have to browse the import data.csv and file present in the DLab. Okay. And after that, click on OK and close the explorer. And then after that, click on the action drop down again and select the import data. Under action, you have to select the again import data, then click on then select and create. And you have to select the inbox here, and after that you have to assign the you have to select the particular form which was created for the for scheduling for purpose, and you have to select after that click on save, 
and then save and okay on the save as job page enter the following details name as a import dot job from en01 error should be import error file then after the close and close and open dialog box okay and later i will show in the navigation option only these options click on home page okay click on the application and under the overview we have to select the overview here under the here you can see the action option will be there click on action option under that you have to select the inbox and outbox explorer okay here you have to select the refresh Yeah, select the upload and choose file. There is no documentation. You have to select the import data. Click on open. Select the audio file and upload the file. Yeah, successfully, successfully the file has been added for the inbox and outbox explorer. Then refresh it and close. After that, click on the action and click select the import and select create. Now you have to select the inbox and what we given for the particular uh, Excel sheet. What we given for the Excel sheet name, we have to same we have to assign the same name for the in the source file. I given as a data. Sorry, import data. Import data dot csv okay after that save as a job here you have to assign the name as a import job for en01 okay any underscore will be there for that no en01 okay job Okay. Input error file. Input. File. After that, click on save. Okay. After that, okay. For that, after that location, select the inbox and the outbox. Yeah, I haven't done this for this one, right? Okay, then click the job tab and under that, select the schedule jobs. And on the scheduling job page, uh, first select the import data. Select, okay, select the import data, then give in a, re a rename to the job, entering the job name as a data import of en01 underscore 05. Select the requirement pattern as a weekly and day or week or month for the scheduling uh, scheduling starts from the entering the today's date okay after that click on next okay coming back to the application close you have to select the jobs okay under jobs you have to select the scheduling jobs you have to select the import data import data and you have to assign the name as a data data import data okay For en zero one en zero one underscore zero five okay after that you have to select the requirement pattern and select as a weekly and select monday okay the ended set ended 
and starting date. Plus acted as a okay. 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 For the next set, the next option. Here the number has been added. See, based on the application only, I've been doing this process. And then click next. See, you can see the member has been added for the job details. After that, click on next. And then review the details and finish and set the finish. The particular member will be added to the pending jobs. Okay. The application and click on next. We have to review it and after that finish. Select finish. Okay. See in the pending jobs that the, the what I have been, what I have done for scheduling process, I have that particular data has been added for the pending jobs. That's the process. And coming to the documentation, the next topic is that selecting the task for the edit. And here click on the edit card in the tools cluster. Okay, come back to the home page, select the tools and select the edit. Okay, after that, click configuration. Click configuration and uncheck the data form, data form approvals and uh, clear cell details and click apply. Okay. Click on configure, uncheck the data form and approve us. And one more thing is that clear some details and apply. Yeah, after that. Exploring the delete, uh, exploring, exploring the deleting edit trailer. For that, you have to log in with the credential. After that, click the edit card and the tool cluster and select the filter icon and the on the edit edit page. Okay, you have to select this filter option. After that, enter the following details as for the filter page. The, uh, the task group all actions should be all and the starting day starting date should be one week before two day date and and that should be two days date. Okay, click apply. Okay, for that, select the application, select the filter option, and see the task group is should be all, action should be all, the starting date should be before one week, right? And uh, for example, I selected as a 20 uh, 29, and the end date is two days date, and apply. Apply, okay. Okay, now click on action, then click. Okay, you will be able to see the edit data. You can see the edit data. This is the data which I have done for the previous for from one week. I have done the particular data. The data has been shown here. And under that, you can select the action option and then you can export the particular data also from here also. See, by certain that, click on OK. The file has been added to the file, to the local machine. You have to select it and select export, export. So the file has been added. Click on Open. Yeah, here you can see the data. Okay, coming to the documentation. And after that, click action once again and then check delete, uh, click on action and once again check the delete to delete edit trial. And after that, keep the same filter and click delete. Okay. After that, edit, uh, the edit data for the selection filter will be get deleted as shown in the following screenshot. Okay. Okay, I'll show you directly in the navigation, but under the action, you have to select the delete option. You can delete from directly here only. 
that is another particular member and clear delete okay so that has been deleted that's a process of deleting in the audit trail come to the back to the navigation uh, documentation exploring the artifact data to the snapshot so okay here you have to select the login page login we had to log in with the credential after that you have to select the migration in the tool cluster and the tool cluster you have to you can see the migrant option will be there you have to select the migration option under that you will say you will see all the application components in the form of the uh, different categories under that you have to check the particular member which which data you want to select you have to select the particular member after that and after that click on export and give the name as a application uh, uh, effect uh, export and then click on okay after that after you can see the status as the explorer migration status will be process after that the data will be added to the particular member after that you have to you have to download the particular uh, particular snapshot which was created for the exporting method and uh, once the exporting is completed then the export snapshot will be available in the snapshot action under that you have you can select the action you offer the snapshot and then click download then save the snapshot of the migration after that directly i will show in the navigation option only directly click on that and coming back to the home page uh, you can connect to the you can select the navigator under that you can see the migration part will be there select the migration select the migration and you have to select the particular member which data you want to add for the particular data backup you have to select these members and select export name i will give as name as a fccs underscore one click on okay It's a, it takes it takes some time some more time for the refreshing my to back up in the data. It make it takes some more time for that and coming to the next one and importing data from the snapshot okay you have to log in with the credential after that select the overview and application clusters and under that after that you have to remove the particular application on selecting the overview page and the action then you have to remove the application after that come to the next page you have to give the credential part which was given by the client after that go on the snapshot and what we will what we have done the download option you have to import it and after that you have to log out and log in the application then only the change and only the migration data will back up after that you have to give the what you back up with the particular data you have to import it into the application then only the the preview data will be added to the particular application and directly we show the navigation option only and click on the home page it will take it will take some more time it back and it will be created click on close and after that you have to select the home page pref like and some backup data i will show you directly in that only uh, okay click on the application you can overview under that you have to select the action click on action and here you can remove the application remove application click on yes For removing application, it makes it will take some more time for that. We have to wait for that.
the application is removing for further it will take some more time yeah after that you have to give the credential click on go and close here you have to select the migration here you have to select the snapshot and what we have done the backup we have to select the particular backup and you have to select the particular backup and select this option under that you have to select the import option after selecting the import import option click on ok it will take for some more time after that after that you have to okay it will take more time for that uh, what was the documentation is that we have to select the import option after that you have to sign out and sign in the particular application and it will take some more time after that you have to give the credential part for that particular number a particular application after that you have to you can see the home page and how to probably that's the process of creation of the application and migration hello hello ravli yeah, yeah that's the process thank you thank you thank you ravli shall i stop